Welcome to Go Get It. Today we are going to see one of the basic concept from linear algebra and that is eigen values. Before we proceed further with eigen values, we need to understand characteristic equation. This video session will give you certain shortcuts also while problem solving. So characteristic equation is denoted by this notation a minus lambda i where lambda is nothing but a constant and i is nothing but an identity element so by identity element you must be aware of identity element as 1001 for a 2 cross 2 matrix so this is nothing but a identity element likewise 1000010001 this is nothing but 3 cross 3 identity matrix now let's directly jump into an example where we can see characteristic equation. We have a given matrix, say 3, 5, 5 and 3. So we need to calculate the characteristic equation for this. So we will calculate following the above equation a minus lambda i equals to 0. So we can write it as 3, 5, 5, 3 minus lambda of as it is a 2 cross 2 matrix, we will consider the 2 cross 2 identity matrix equals to 0. That gives you, that will again gives you 3 minus lambda 5, 5, 3 minus lambda, determinant of this equals to 0. This gives you 3 minus lambda whole square minus 25 equals to 0. And the final equation after solving we will get it as lambda square minus 6 lambda minus 16 equals to 0. So this is the characteristic equation produced. Now uh, there are certain, uh, not there are, there is a sh uh, shortcut to calculate the characteristic equation. Whenever we will be given with the uh, matrix, matrix, you can directly deduce the characteristic equation by following this formula. Lambda square minus sum of your diagonal elements multiplied by lambda plus determinant of a equals to 0. So applying the same formula on the given matrix we had 3 5 5 3 the equation would be lambda square directly minus sum of diagonal elements will give you 6 as 3 plus 3 6 multiplied by lambda plus determinant of a is 9 minus 25 equals to 0 lambda square minus 6 lambda minus 16 equals to 0 this equation is equivalent to the equation which we saw earlier now this as it is a quadratic equation this will definitely gives you some roots so these roots are called as eigen values some people say it as eigen values also so we will call it as eigen values now let's see what are eigen values. Eigen values are nothing but the roots of characteristic equation which we saw earlier. These are also called as latent values or proper values. So in the examination, sometimes the questions are tweaked and they asked with what are the latent values of the given matrix. So don't get confused because latent values are nothing but eigen values. So we'll have a given matrix as 5, 3, 3, 5. We'll calculate the eigen values for this. Following the same equation, we have lambda square minus sum of diagonal elements that will give you 10 into lambda plus mod of a or determinant of a that is that will deduce the equation as 10 lambda plus 16 equals to 0. So this is the equation. Solving this equation, we will get lambda of lambda minus 2 minus 8 of lambda minus 2 equals to 0 that gives you lambda minus 8 lambda minus 2 equals to 0 and finally we will get the roots of the equation as 8 comma 2 now let me discuss the shortcut associated with this <clears throat> there are two shortcuts basically the very first shortcut would be whenever you need to calculate the eigen values you can consider it as sum of 
diagonal elements is always equals to sum of your eigen values if any conflict occurs this conflict is nothing but with respect to the options given in the question then you can follow the second rule that is nothing but determinant of a is equals to product of your eigen values now we had a, uh, earlier we had this uh, matrix given as 5 3 and 3 5 the eigen values generated were 8 and comma 2 so you can directly use this first formula that will give you 5 plus 5 is equals to 8 plus 2 and hence you can directly say that 8 and 2 are the eigen values of the given matrix now let's see one more example here we have given matrix as 6 2 2 6 and the options given are 10 comma 3 b as 8 comma 4 c as 6 comma 2 and d as 4 comma 5 so following the first formula this will give you 13 10 plus 3 8 plus 4 gives you 12 6 plus 2 gives you 8 5 plus 4 gives you 9 so blindly you can say that 6 plus 6 gives you 12 and 12 matches with 8 comma 4 so directly you can say b is the right answer we'll discuss few more problems here say for example you have given a, a matrix with 2 minus 1 minus 4 5 options are minus 1 1 6,1 and 4,3 now we can directly say that 5 plus 2 gives you 7 now this is eliminated now 6 plus 1 also gives you 7 5 plus 2 also gives you 7 4 plus 3 also gives you 7 now the conflict occurs we have the second option where we will consider the product of the eigen values which is equivalent to determinant of a so calculate the determinant of a that gives you 10 minus 4 that is 6 this should be equals to product of eigen values so eigen values we will consider 4 plus 3 Uh, 4 into 3 gives you 12. 5 into 10 gives. Uh, 5 into 2 gives you 10. 6 into 1 gives you 6. So 6 matches with 6. So B is the right answer. That's how you can calculate. I hope eigen value calculation uh, are pretty much easier now after this video session. We'll consider one more example here. You must be aware of certain matri matrix types. So you have say 5 0 0 0 4 0. 0 0 1 so this is a given matrix and you can say that this is a diagonal matrix <clears throat> so in such cases you can directly say that the eigen values are nothing but 5 4 and 1 similarly for upper triangular matrix say you have 5 3 6 0 2 1 0 0 2 3 so this is nothing but upper triangular matrix in such cases you can directly say that the eigen values are nothing but 5 2 and 4 the diagonal elements so that's how directly you can call uh, calculate the eigen values in such cases so i hope this eigen value calculation and characteristic equation is pretty much easier after this session for uh, all you people subscribe for more videos thanks for listening all the best